Hi, I'm Nick Appleyard. Thank you for joining me today as we use this video format to help explain the details and some of the implications of our press releases. Um, today we are going to focus on the July 11th press release where we announced some wonderful draw results and more importantly the acceleration of the development program at Castello de Sonios. Joining me to help with this is our Vice President Mo Srivastava. Mo, can you give us a bit of background please? Sure Nick, I'd be glad to. Tricer's focus has always been on projects that have a clear path to production. And, and what we mean by that is like there's just no obvious red flags. There is there is mining issues to develop, there are process issues to develop, there are no obvious red flags that would stop this from being built into a mine. That's exactly right. One of the biggest pieces of that puzzle is the resource base. A couple of years ago, we published a technical report explaining the science and data analysis that gave us a lot of confidence that Castello de Sonios could be a major mine. And our first priority was to show that it has enough gold in the ground to support significant production. So last year we did a lot of drilling and announced significantly expanded resources in the fall. But we had still covered only about half of the ground that needed drilling. So we thought we had another full year of drilling ahead of us this year before we'd have a resource base to justify doing a PEA. So what's changed this year? It's the drilling. The drilling in the first half of 2018 opened up Esperanza East. We drilled new holes in Esperanza South, where we've got most of our resources, and filled in gaps in Esperanza Center. We also discovered a couple of new zones. At TriStar, we're always keeping our eyes on the horizon by doing updates of our internal calculations of resources. So at the end of June, we realized that we now have sufficient resources to make the PEA the next sensible step, even though we still got a lot of ground to cover where resources could grow. So why don't we just announce a resource now then? Well, boy, we'd love to do that. But 43101 rules require that this be done by an external person, a QP who is independent of the company. So our approach here is to line up as soon as possible a good engineering consulting group to do that resource update as the first step in a PEA. And um, do we have a rough timeline for this and when these numbers will become available? Let's see, we're in Q3 right now. So it would be later this quarter when the updated resources would be published and next quarter when the full preliminary economic assessment report is available. During that time, we also need to keep drilling because there's still a lot of upside potential for resource growth, a lot of good ground that has not yet been drilled. And that's brilliant, that's great. That's, it's really nice to be ahead of schedule and, and to have done everything we've said we're gonna do on this project. Um, so we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today and um, please do reach out to us. We, we love to hear back from the investors and shareholders. Um, Thank you very much. Have a great day.